Meanwhile, back on the ice, the ladies are skating for the gold medal here in Quebec City, and Fumie Siguri takes the ice right now in second place after the short program, ranked seventh in the world by the ISU, the reigning world bronze medalist. And look at the way she's floating into this position, the arms there, very much the concept of the ballerina already presented to her. Not quite taken over, but it's there as a start. I think she was getting herself in the mood for Swan Lake. Gentle, good, strong opening. doubled that, just fell out of it, popped right out of it. What a shame, that'll bar the standing of the program, the marks. Reserved quality about her skating. She doesn't present to the audience very much, very quiet. She's 21 years old, from Yokohama, Japan. And last season in Nagano became the first lady from Japan to make it to the podium since Yuka Sato won the world title in 1994. Won the bronze medal in this event back in 2000. And she's being coached by Yuka Sato's father, Nabu. Mm -hmm. Who was on the, uh, at the same Olympics in 68 with me, representing Japan. culture of the Swan Lake Ballet. It hasn't quite descended into the full body yet with stretch, but it's getting there. on her face. Not much expression in the body. No. A nice, strong closing move, this combination spin, and this final scratch spin is just excellent. We see so seldom those back split, back, back scratch spins. It's really refreshing to see it end the program now. 
And you'd like to see her 100% healthy at some point. She's got ligament damage in both of her ankles. She needs surgery six months away from the ice, but she's elected just to skate right through the injuries. Look at this right here. She's taking a bow very much under the influence of a ballerina's impact. It's just lovely to see that. You see it's getting through the head, and we're going to see it more and more each year. She started this program very well, and I thought this was going to set the tone. Very nice triple lutz, double toe. Watch her reach back here for the takeoff. Very nice and straight in the air. Nice flowing edge in between the two jumps. And it set a, a wonderful stage for her, but however, it was downhill from, from then on. This triple loop attempt ended up being just a double. So now the marks from the judges. Seven marks that actually count the first set for technical merit, 5.1 to 5.5. I think those are relatively good marks for however she skated. I mean, she missed a lot of triples in her program. And now the second set for presentation, 5.1 up to 5.7. And the judge's placements, what's going on with that judge? Well, I've got to tell you, I, I would wonder who that judge is, Terry. I'd love to know. I don't, unfortunately, because we're not given the answers.